Two Forks with mine today. This is from the Boy Scouts of America booth. It comes highly recommended oh. by Caden, one of the scouts. Mac it's and a cheese? potato with mac and cheese and bacon. I've never had a baked potato here. Really? really That's bad. hard to believe. Yes. Really, <laughs> I see you have two forks in there, too, like somebody else is going to help you eat that, right? Yeah, I uh, brought it just for you. All right. Okay. Very good. He doesn't good. think I'm going to share, but I will. See? All right. Well, <laughs> we got the important stuff out of the way. We want to say the big act tonight is war at the Budweiser Pavilion. Outside of that, it is a cavalcade of entertainment for one and all young and old here at the Great Kern County Fair, the 102nd Kern County Fair. Okay, so two years ago, yesterday it was 105 degrees. Right. Today, it's we're getting up there about... 90 or yeah. so, a little bit warmer, but uh, still pleasant. No, far from breeze. the triple digits. So yeah. we're all having a good time. Hope you come down and say hi to us. Uh, we're at the corner of Grand and Harvest. Yep, right, 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 right by Casey's Corner. So come on and say hi. All right, we are pleased to have with us tonight at the top of our show, Jim Camp. He is the Kern County Fair Board's Person of the Year for the 2018 Kern County Fair and for good reason. Good evening to you, Jim. Thank Congratulations, you, Jim. Thank Jim. You. Thank you very much. Your uh, contributions uh, and your involvement with the Kern County Fair is going to be celebrated tonight at this dinner hosted by the Fair Board. And your stewardship of the Kern County Fair is uh, is significant, to say the least. Uh, three terms on the Board of Directors, right? Yes. Two terms as Chairman of the Board. You were first appointed by Governor Pete Wilson way back in the day. Your, your reflections, Jim, on being selected as Person of the Year. Well, it's a tremendous honor, Jim and Natty. I, I, uh, to, to be honored in this manner by so many people that I respect, admire, and to have a number of people in our community come out and participate, it's just, uh, honestly, it's overwhelming, and I appreciate it so much. Well, it is well deserved, as Jen mentioned. You know, it's important to note here the proceeds from the Person of the Year dinner goes to help fund scholarships for junior livestock exhibitors here in Kern County. Fifty-six thousand dollars so far, which is amazing. I know it's something near and dear to your heart. You served on the livestock committee for two terms. Um, your thoughts on what the fair means to the future farmers and ranchers of tomorrow? Oh, it's tremendous, absolutely tremendous, and not just the future farmers and the and the 4-H. It's throughout the entire community. There are so many young kids that get involved with the livestock program to learn so many disciplines and also to try and save some money, make some money, save some money for their to further their education. And to be able to do that and to assist them in that objective is just uh, tremendous. It brings you, and for, for some of these kids, this is, this is a hobby. It's a stopping point along the way in their life. But for others, the seed gets planted here. Absolutely. And they, they go on to pursue careers in agriculture, don't they? Yes, absolutely. And on the college education and agriculture that they would otherwise wouldn't be exposed to. But it's also a cross-section of our community. Um, really from is. people from many facets, uh, parts of town, that gives them an opportunity to learn many disciplines. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a great great program. Uh, 4 Hers and the FFA program, they're doing so much in our community. You know, you, Jim Camp is also president of SA Camp and Sons Company, uh, and that that company has been serving our ag industry for, well, since 1932, I believe, right? Actually, my uh, grandparents and my father and aunt came out from South Carolina in the mid-20s. So, wow. so that service to the ag industry makes this all fit for you, coming out here and devoting so much time to the Kern County Fair. Absolutely. There's so many people that I know that are involved in the agricultural program here, the livestock program. Yeah. It's, uh, it's great. Well, the, the fair is not normally associated with controversy, but it seems like when a controversy arises, it usually has to do with the livestock portion of the fair. Why is that? Well, for a number of people, <laughs> it's very competitive. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, when, you, when it involves competition, sometimes things become a little bit too important. You know. How difficult is it to pull these livestock events? I mean, you got hundreds of kids down here. You've got hundreds of heads of livestock from goats to chickens to cows. 
uh, and sheep. How difficult is it to put that together every year? It's a tremendous undertaking, and fortunately, we have a fair staff organization that starts with Mike Alcott, mm -hmm. and he has put together a tremendous group of individuals, and they do a phenomenal job. They put their hearts and souls into this, work extremely long hours to make sure that this is very successful for the kids. Well, Jim Camp, thank you for your time. Jim Camp, 2018 Kern County Fair Board Person of the Year being celebrated tonight at a dinner which will raise money for scholarships for our young 4-H'ers and FFA'ers. Jim, thanks for your time. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations thank you. on your, thank you so on your much. Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, we've got a lot more to get to later on this evening, and uh, we'll be here throughout our 6 o'clock hour. So we'll send it back to the studio right now, 17 News Center. Kristen Price, catch you up on the day's news. All right, thanks, Jim. And here are the prices if you are coming down to the fair. Admission is $12 for adults. It's $9 for seniors and $5 for kids ages 6 to 12. Kids 5 and under get in for free, and so do military with military ID. You can also get discounted passes, $2 off at Vierta Markets. And there are select days when you can get in for free or at a discount. This Friday, seniors get in for free from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. On Monday, $5 admission for everyone from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. Next Tuesday and Wednesday are school days, meaning free admission for kids preschool through 6th grade from 9 a.m. until noon. And next Wednesday, $6 admission from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. with a Les Schwab voucher. Thursday, September 27th, bring four canned food items per person and you can get in for free. And the Kern County Sheriff's Office says you should take a full-length photo of your child before taking them to the fair in the outfit they'll wear to the fairgrounds. That way, if you get separated, security will have an exact photo to use when looking for them. And if your kids are lost, all they have to do is follow the duck feet. These yellow feet were all painted across the fairgrounds and lead to the lost children's area where parents can reunite with their kids. Switching to Crime Watch, homicide investigators are looking into a suspicious death in Oildale. The sheriff's office says a man's body was found in a dirt field off China Gray Loop near Manor Street. How the man died is still unknown. No details on his identity have been released either. KCSO says anyone with information should give them a call. The phone number is 861-3110. To stay anonymous, you can call the secret witness line. That number is 322-4040. Two people were found dead overnight in Taft after an apparent shooting. Around 10.30 last night, deputies responded to shots fired near the 700 block of B Street. When they arrived to the area, they found a man dead in the road. In front of a home nearby, they found a second man dead on a porch. Deputies also found multiple shell casings in the area. And by our count, there have been 86 homicides so far this year. If you have any information on this incident, call KCSO. Again, that phone number, 861-3110. Bakersfield police arrested several people accused of robbing a liquor store at gunpoint this morning. The BPD says the robbery happened at Jay's Market on South H Street just off Ming Avenue. Two suspects were seen leaving in a gray Toyota. Officers spotted the vehicle later at Bell Terrace and Stein Road. That's when investigators say four suspects got out and ran. Nearby schools went on lockdown as police swarmed the area. Police took the four into custody and the lockdowns were lifted. No word yet from BPD on charges. Police need your help in finding two missing teens. 16-year-old Haley Williams and 12-year-old Noah Williams were last seen yesterday morning in the 2300 block of Palm Street in Bakersfield's Oleander Sunset neighborhood. If you have any information on their whereabouts, call BPD at 327-7111. Kern County Honor Flight is inviting people to bring their friends and family to welcome back the latest group of heroes to fly out to Washington, D.C. Here's video from a past welcome back celebration. Honor Flight says 57 Vietnam veterans are going to see the war monuments built in their honor. They leave early tomorrow morning and are set to return Sunday. The Welcome Home event starts at 7 p.m. at Liberty High School at 925 Juetta Avenue. We're getting ready to fire up the grill for a fundraiser supporting the Kern County Sheriff's Activities League. Here's a look at last year's Sal Barbecue. The organization offers programs to local kids in an effort to keep them off the streets and help them become responsible, productive members of the community. The barbecue is Wednesday from 11, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. outside our KGET studios at 21st and L Streets. For $10, you can get a tri-tip sandwich, chips, and a drink. Organizers say donations are greatly appreciated. 
And we're going to be heading back out to the Kern County Fair with so many different things happening out there. We're getting a chance to check in with our reporters who are getting a look at all of the different events, checking out some of the showmanship. And we're taking a look right now with 17's Amber Frias, who is live out there with one of those stories. Amber. Today, it was the kids and their four-legged friends who put on the show. And I'm not talking about dogs or cats. I'm talking about their goats. So the kids that you're about to see here on video are in the five to eight age group and they are competing in showmanship with their goats. The kids woke up bright and early to get their goats ready for show. When you save them, they're really soft and then you can take care of them with the wasm, groom them, feed them, give them food, water. So Lizzie is one of the 10 kids who competed with her goat, Penny. Judges evaluated the contestants on their ability to control their goat, the way the animals were being presented, and the kids' knowledge on the goat's body parts. First place contestant won a special belt buckle and will have the opportunity to be part of the parade of champions on Monday night. Apart from the competition, parents tell me the kids just really enjoy spending time with their goat at the fair. You can actually like walk around and have fun with your goat. So this was Lizzie and her goat Penny's first time competing and they placed eight.